we've arrived in Moab, Utah. Everything looks like Mad Max. So the drive from Gateway, Colorado to Moab, we took the southern route and it was mind-bending. <laughs> For two and a half hours, there was no gas stations, no food, no coffee. Often you hang on the edge of a canyon, it's beautiful, but we were in a rush to get coffee, so we got no footage. So we have to take our word for it. If you want to go somewhere where there's nobody but you, go there. Go there. So we drove through arches and it's hot as hell. Yeah. No joke. Even the hikes are cold, like Devil's Garden and things like that. <laughs> so now we're looking for ice cream until it cools off so we can hike it. We got our desert ice cream. It was the best idea ever. And we just probably have to wait another hour till and we can safely do arches without roasting Mad Max land almost 6 p.m. and it's still hot as hell oh uh, well it's the okay the temperature is supposed to get down to 89 at 9 p.m. so it sucks by then we might feel better this is our last day in the desert it's finally cooled off to the point where it's tolerable hiking and there's actually shade because the sun is low the temperature itself is still like in the upper 90s but yeah because we're now in the shade we can actually walk for a little bit and so we're here at park avenue which is one of the first sort sort of long hikes that you can do when you first enter the park but they say that it's called park avenue because of the geological skyscrapers that are here hmm. i see mm -hmm. so i guess this is the new york of utah This rock that's been standing here for a million years doesn't decide to fall right now. I always think that. I'm like, this better not be the one time where it decides, oh, I'm done. But yeah, this is balanced rock. Watch it closely. Make sure it doesn't make any motion. <laughs> Utah is the most wow. crazy place. It really is. That's pretty cool. It's like a giant dinosaur. Egg. <laughs> and it is 725. And look, we almost have the whole place to ourselves. So come in the evening. It stands tall and proud. It does. <laughs> oh, the moon. That's pretty cool. Oh, the moon. Here's a question everyone is asking. How are the arches formed? So erosion, rainwater dissolves the natural cement that holds the sandstone together. So it's about the kind of stone it is. Here's an arch in the forming which is being hollowed out like a cave and later it will give out and become an arch. All right, at like seven o'clock we get to our first arch. Eight oh, it's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. That's, That's why okay. I started feeling it's better. Perfect, yeah, we don't feel like we're dying. Most of the crowds are leaving. So, yeah, we should have better photo ops right now. Let's go under the arch. Under the arch? Our first arch? Did you see? And hopefully it doesn't collapse under it. Did you see? It brings a thousand years of luck. Oh, really? Yes. Under our rock arch? That's right. I have not heard this. Who says that? Me. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, we say that. So if you now do it too, you will also get a thousand years of good luck. That's right. Pretty impressive from this angle. I like it. The sun is still high and burning even though it's 8 o'clock. This thing does look like a house with a turret.
very fun to climb around these arches. It's half the fun here. And the sandstone has really good grip. You don't slip. So it is now 9.48 p.m. and the stars are starting to come out. I want to try to get kind of a creative shot with these arches, maybe with some stars through them. Just because every shot known to man has been taken in this park. So I'm making an effort to try something different. How the heck is there a frog here? No, seeing me there are mosquitoes biting wow. me. Wow, that's so funny. Well, I'm going up there into the nothingness. Huh, I'm inside the arch, but my light is too weak to illuminate it. <sighs> I climbed one of the arches. It's the biggest, coolest one actually. That's really nice. We took amazing shots of the arch at night. And this is the cool one. It's complex in shape so you can get creative. The nice thing is it's a half moon. So I always thought the moon was bad because I like being able to see the Milky Way and seeing more constellations, but it's actually really cool with the arches because that moon is illuminating them, giving us some really nice color. We got the very last spot here to see the main hike in the Arches Park. The delicate arch, yes, and it was the same yesterday at the windows, but the last spot, so we've been on a roll here, but this morning it is 8 a.m. So if you're coming during normal times when it's not the coronavirus pandemic, then you may want to get here earlier than that because it does seem really popular already. Yeah, this thing is the state symbol of Utah. It's on the license plate and all the welcome signs and people keep coming in to crowd over here. Mm -hmm. And so the other thing too is that there's also a viewpoint you can see it from farther away. And we did that last night, but the thing is you are so far away that if you don't have a 400 millimeter lens, you don't really see it. So I think the hike is actually the best viewpoint that you're ever going to get of it. The viewpoint is kind of pointless. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. We're not worth it. But the best part is the clouds. Yeah, we're so lucky that it's cloudy right now. Because, yeah, it makes for dynamic imagery, but also we're not burning. <laughs> that matters a lot so, more. So, yeah, it matters. It's not that hard. It's not. It does seem difficult, but I think it's because we spent a week in the mountains. And <laughs> now. At high altitude. We're just because hikers. Really if you don't hike, if you come from the plains or the city, maybe it's hard. This part is supposed to be trickier. Crowded here. A toddler did it, it can't be that hard. <laughs>
квартире with all the symbol of Utah up close. It's cool. It's really cool. It's a little too popular. It's windy. <laughs> a little scared. Did you feel the religious experience? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even go all the way. Overall, the hike is quite easy. Only if you have some kind of crippling fear of heights, you, you won't make it. Here's for the bathroom, which good thing I don't need to use it. But right now it is 9:30 a.m. during the so-called pandemic, and this place is packed. So parking gets really, really tough uh, pretty early in the morning. But the nice thing is it's a relatively short hike. We got here, took us maybe an hour and a half in total. So if you can time it just right, so that people are leaving then you might be able to wait and get a spot. But we're back there, yeah, we're at the end. So, yeah, you kind of take your chances. I actually think getting here before sunrise or sunset is among the riskier times because you can bank on a lot of people getting here for that moment and they're not going to be leaving. So if you come maybe slightly after that, which is what we did, then you actually can hit it where people have just seen sunrise and then they're leaving. So you have to be a little strategic about that. So some lucky person is going to get our spot. appears a bit suppressed here since it's a global pandemic, it's raining and there appears to be a huge fire. <laughs> yeah, not really what we expected for this trip, but I think that's okay. We'll be back to ski sometime because it looks really, yeah. really phenomenal in the snow as well. Yes, hopefully once our movies make it big, we can come for free. Yeah. <laughs>